I'm back. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the podcast. Um, if this is your first time here, welcome for the first time. If this is your second, third time here, or you've been here for the long haul, make sure you hit that notification bell because I'm going to drop a lot of these podcasts, maybe daily, who knows. Whenever breaking news comes out, whenever a new event comes up, and I feel like we need to put some game on it, I'm just dropping the video. It is what it is. You're stuck with me. So welcome to the channel. Make sure you subscribe, like, hit that notification bell. Like I said, we got some game today. I hear this scam you and I ain't feeling it. I ain't, I ain't jacking at it. You hear me? So uh, if you've been paying attention to the local news, a man, I'm, I'm going to just read the article. Shirley man accused of scamming people with fake rental listing. Uh, a Shirley man, so Shirley, Long Island, a man in Shirley, from Shirley, Long Island is accused of scamming people out of thousands of dollars with fake rental listings he posted on social media, according to Suffolk County Police. Uh, police said this 24-year-old Christian Anderson relisted rental properties in the Mastic and Mastic Beach area online, claiming, the, claiming he was a realtor between January to March of this year. So from January to March of 2023, he was posting listings online, saying he was the realtor, People were, we'll, we'll get back to that, I'll read some more. So he then allegedly met his victims in a bank parking lot and would give them fake rental agreements and keys in exchange for cash deposits. Let's bring that back. <laughs> let's, bring, let's bring that back because I'm, I'm mad at y'all. Y'all are meeting this guy in, his, in parking lots and giving them your, we're going to read that back. Police said 24-year-old Christian Anderson relisted rental properties in the Mastic and Mastic Beach, Long Island area online, claiming he was a realtor. All right, whatever. Between March, between January and to March of 2023, he then allegedly met his victims in a bank parking lot and would give them a fake rental agreement with keys in exchange for cash deposits. All right. Super red flag. That's the first red flag. But for those who don't know the game, I'm, I'm going to give you some game, right? This is what you should be looking for when you're, when you're going for a rental property. Because a lot of people like to try to cheat the system in a sense, even though they, they don't even think they were cheating the system because they were going through a realtor. But a lot of people like to go online because they don't want to pay the rent, the, the real estate fee. They don't want to pay that the extra one month rent to go towards the realtor. So they want to circumvent and go, you know, and get it online themselves. I get it, whatever. We're all trying to save some bread. I get it. But listen, if you're going to do that, this, this is what you should be doing. So the first thing you should be doing is asking someone for ID, especially if they're posing as a real estate agent. So if, that, if they're posing as a real estate agent, let me see some ID. Let me see your business card. And don't just stop at that business card. Real estate agents are, I don't, even, I don't know if it's about law, but I know local state, the Department of State in New York, they issue uh, pocket cards for agents. And they, they actually give us IDs that have a photo on it. It says the name of the brokerage. It says our license number, the expiration uh, for when our, our license expires because you have to renew it every two years. It's a literally, it's an ID. It looks like a, a photo license, right? So that's exactly what it is. That's the first thing you should be asking for when you're meeting these people in a parking lot. All right, cool. The second thing is Google Realtor. We'll hold a Google search away. We all have phones in our hands at all times. Google him. What was his name? Christian Anderson, local realtor. Let me let me see you, bro. Let me see let me see if you're actually realtor. Because if he's working as a real estate agent, he's going to come up somewhere online, not just Instagram. Because anyone can create an Instagram account, a Facebook account, uh, whatever kind of account. Don't go off of that. Google them. Look for the brokers that they're saying that they're working with. See if that person is actually on that broker's list of agents. That is the most important thing. Make sure they're an actual real estate agent. Again, everything is a Google search away. Number three, so I'll get back, uh, let's get back to the story a little bit, right? So not only were they meeting them in the parking lot and giving them money, then they would go, um, they would go to the property and notice that people were still living in these properties that they just rented themselves, right? So they would go, they would try to put the key in the door, key wasn't working because someone else actually lived there. That's another thing you should do. You should actually, what's the address to this, to this listing? Okay, no problem. I'm gonna drive by. Drive by, see if, see if this house looks empty. See if it looks abandoned. Abandoned and empty are two totally different things. Let's get to that. Make sure this property is actually not abandoned, meaning it, the, the, the grass is overgrown. The house looks like no one ever has not lived there for decades. If you see something like that, that's another red flag. 
why hasn't anyone maintained this property? Especially if they're renting it, if they're listing it for rent right now, this property should be maintained at some, some standard, right? That's another thing. So drop past the property. It's a quick, listen, save yourself. You're gonna save a lot of money by burning a little gas <laughs> to drop past that property. So that's another thing. Paper trail, people, you have to have a paper trail. You should not be meeting someone at a bank Going in the bank, getting a withdrawal, and giving this person your hard-earned cash. Paper trail. Certified bank, um, certified bank check. Bimbo, cash app, Zell. There's so many options that we have now that you can keep a paper trail. If you do find out this person is fraudulent, you can dispute it. If you're giving them cash, you can't dispute anything. It's a done deal. So what this dude was doing, so he was actually he was meeting these people. He was giving them fake leases. He was giving them fake keys, and he would delete the social media post and block the people as soon as he got the cash. Paper trail. You need that paper trail. Please get that paper trail. Um, it's another thing. Why is he meeting you at the parking lot, not at the property? Are you, he's not asking you for an application. He's not doing a background check, credit check, nothing. A red flag, man. These bells should be going off. Where's my application at, brother? Where is the credit check? Where is the background check? Where is the landlord? Why am I not interviewing with this landlord before I give you my cash? Who's accepting this application? If they're not, if they're not asking for a credit check, they're not asking for a background check, and I'm not meeting the landlord. I'm just meeting a realtor in a parking lot, and he's giving me keys and saying, this is yours. Who am I paying next month? Who am I meeting? I'm not meeting. I didn't meet anyone. Interview with the landlord. At least that. And if you're going to give anyone your cash, it should be the landlord, right? It should be the landlord that you're going to give them the cash to for your deposit, your um, first month rent, and then the realtor's fee is on the side. Meet the landlord. So if anything, and this is just not a New York thing, so I don't want anyone watching this that, that don't live in New York that think this is just a New York thing or New York is a gullible. This is happening all over the country. People, scammers are getting very, very resourceful out here. I'm seeing, they, I, I saw reports that they're doing this in buildings. They're doing this anywhere they could, they figure that they could get vulnerable people. That's what they're going to do. I remember I had a, um, a rental listing not too long ago, well, maybe like two years ago. And I would meet, people would meet me at the, at the listing and they were trying to give me cash there. And I, and I said, like, pump your brakes, man. Like one, I don't even know if you're qualified for this rental. What are we doing as far as, again, application, background check, credit check. I'm not just going to take your cash here. And I actually had a, a long conversation with one of the, um, the perspective, um, perspective renters. And I, I basically gave him the game. Like, man, don't be going, just going somewhere with, four, I think the rent for this one was like $4,000. So he was about to give me like eight grand, $4,000 for, the, um, for the, um, the first month's rent and $4,000 for the broker fee. And I'm like, nah, man, I'll just give somebody your cash like that. And in my head, I'm like, yo, if I was a grimy dude, I would have had eight grand and this dude would never saw me again. He was, I don't think he had working papers and things like that. He was just trying to get a space for his family. So I get it. He was desperate and when desperate, desperate stuff kicks in. When that, when that kicks into your head, you're going to, you're going to um, just give people your hard on cash and you're going to get burned at the end. So do not give them your bread. That's some game. So don't get scammed by these fake realtors. When it comes to these rentals, ask for ID, Google, Make sure you're interviewing with the landlord. Make sure you drive past the property. It's the least you can do before you give somebody your money. So that's my game. That's free game for the week. Maybe not even for the week, because like I said, I'm gonna be dropping videos like this all the time now going forward. I'm just dropping videos. It's me and my office. You see, I'm, we fighting. We fighting for our people. You see the glove in the background and we hustling at the same time. I'm dropping these videos daily. If they come, if events come up daily that I think you need some game on, we drop it. I don't even care if it's two minutes, three minutes, we're dropping nothing but game. So like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on IG, Sean Waller underscore. That is the handle going forward. Follow the uh, Strictly Free Game IG at Strictly Free Game Podcast. Again, let me leave a leave a comment. Let me know if you if you are feeling these videos, if you like this game that we're giving out. Let me know. Keep, stay linked in, hit that notification bell. I might drop another one this week. Board game. Let's go.